What's going on guys? Today we are back with another unboxing video and today we're going to be unboxing Disney's Indiana Jones Holy Grail prop replica that they just released. I know there's been some mixed reviews about it, but we're going to dive in and see what it has to offer. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we're here with the Holy Grail from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Again, this is the Disney replica, uh, prop replica that they just came out with. I pre-ordered this one and I, was, I felt like I was one of the first ones because I ordered it as soon as it came out and I felt like I was one of the last ones to get it. I was anxiously awaiting it. So let's uh, take a look at the boxing here. This obviously says the Holy Grail. Turn it on the side here. Temple of the Forbidden Eye. And, and then it's got the plain emblem there. Top Secret Army Intel. Do not open. Oh, epic Stunt Spectacular. I love that show. It's a must every time we go to Hollywood Studios, and that's quite often. And then here's the Temple du Perel. Uh, Perel. Uh, that's actually the other... I did another video of the key from that ride. Uh, that one's in France. This uh, Temple of the Crystal Skull. I believe that's the one over in Disney Sea, over in Japan. Uh, it could be it's somewhere over there, but yeah. And then it says, Live for Adventure, Fortune, and Glory. Famous Indiana Jones line. And then, of course, we have the Indiana Jones logo there. And on the bottom, you know, just the regular normal print that we always see. So let's uh, take this slip cover off very carefully. I, do, I keep all the boxes. Uh, so I want to keep that in, intact there. So as we take that slip cover off, we now have a picture of the grail. And oh man, I've seen pictures from different people that have gotten in. Each grail looks a little bit different. The paint job looks different. Obviously this does not look anything like the one in the movie. So that is pretty disappointing. I'm hoping uh, the paint job isn't as atrocious as it is in this picture when I open it. But I guess we'll find out here shortly. I'll turn it on the side there. You got the silhouette of Indiana Jones there with the whip. And then we have a little tidbit here about the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones, the chalice used by Jesus Christ during the Last Supper, the cup that caught his blood at the crucifixion, at the crucifixion and was entrusted to Joseph of Arimathea. Sorry, I couldn't, I could barely, man, I need glasses, wow. All right, and thus begins Indy's search for the Holy Grail and his father in the Last Crusade. Belief in the Grail and interest in its potential whereabouts has long fascinated mankind. Legend has it that drinking from the Grail grants eternal life, a possibility so tantalizing that the expression search for the Holy Grail is often used in our everyday vernacular as a metaphor for, for epic quest. The concept of the Holy Grail is informed by, Christi by Christian tradition, but is not explicitly, explicitly found in Christian texts. The first mention of the Grail is the, is found in a poem written 800 years ago describing a beautiful young girl bearing an elaborately decorated bowl. So there's that little piece of information there. And then again, another silhouette of Indiana Jones there. As I'm moving this around, I'm feeling something loose in here, so I'm really hoping nothing's broken. Uh, it did come in a big box with not a whole lot of padding, so I am very hopeful that this is still intact and it's just something else that's... Uh, broken I guess we'll find that out here in a second I am just now opening it for the first time so what you're seeing here is the first time with me so here goes nothing if I can get this thing opened man I don't want to break the box like I said I keep the boxes so all right there we go now we're cooking okay that. Oh, there's no padding in this whatsoever. Wow. And of course, the paint job is not so hot. I'm not liking that paint job, but it's intact. It is intact. So there's that. So inside of the bowl is uh, it's painted gold. It is very shiny. You can't really tell in the with the camera here, but I need to get it to focus here a little bit. So let's see here. But here we go. We'll look at that a little bit later. Oh, this, that, that paint job is atrocious, man. Wow. Oh. Yeah. 
I will say the size and the shape are very accurate to the movie. So I am happy about that, but the paint job is just... Oh, it's a, that's pretty bad. There's like speckle, like white speckle here. I don't know what that's about. And just like this confetti here is just... I, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? This is... The inside of the bowl is pretty cool. I like how it shines. You can't... I'm trying to see if I can get it to shine for you. I uh, you can see it a little bit there. But it's... I will say the, the size of it, though, is nice. And it looks definitely... The size and the shape is accurate. I have a custom one made. I'll compare it to that one. But this is, this is pretty nice uh, when it comes to the size and shape. So I'm happy about that. And then on the bottom here, it's open. It's hollow right there. Um, got the Indiana Jones logo there. Not for food use. Food consumed from this vessel may be harmful. So do not try and drink from this. So, which is a shame. I thought this would actually be pretty cool to drink from, but obviously we're not going to do that. So, overall, the paint job is terrible. Is it worth the $60? It's up to you. Uh, I'm like I've said in my previous videos, I'm a sucker for the official licensed merchandise, so I have to have it. Um, like I said, I do have a custom that does look a little bit better than this. It's not the exact uh, shape. That's It's not as accurate as this is when it comes to shape and size, but um, the paint job's far superior. So I'll actually I'll put a, a comparison of my custom one versus this one. But this is... Uh, man, that paint job is something else. That is something else. I've seen some that are a little bit better. I'm not too happy with that paint job. Am I going to keep it? Yes, I am going to keep it. It will go in the collection, or the museum, I should say. My personal Indiana Jones museum, but... They could have done a far better job with this one. That's just my opinion on this. I'm happy with the size and shape though. I mean, if you if you compare it to the one that's in the movie, it looks pretty spot on. So, I did see that there was a card that came with this. I thought it, there was a card. Yep, what is this? Oh, that's not for food use, that's all it says. Uh, Packaging is pretty terrible too. So, hopefully if you order it, it doesn't come broken. But what was loose, that what I heard was loose in here was the little card in there, but it is sturdy. It's got a pretty good weight to it. It is pretty hefty. So I do like that. It's not, you know, just some piece of plastic, but it is like a resin. It feels like almost a resin or made out of clay. I'm not quite sure. I got to look and see exactly what it's made out of, but it is, it's got a nice little weight to it. Um, so that, that's another plus. Uh, I like everything about it except the paint job. Uh, I and I'm I know some people have gotten this and they've repainted theirs and did their own thing with it but I'm going to leave it the way it is and I'll just display it with uh with my custom one that I made and uh so let me go get my custom and uh actually put a side by side and see what you guys think you know you can put in the comments which one you think is better obviously I think I know which one you guys are going to say um I'm I'm really I'm really let down about this when it comes to the paint job man they could have done something very well with this, but let me go get that. Let me go get the custom one and uh, compare it with that one. All right, so here's my custom one here. This is the custom one that I have, and then this is the the Disney one that they made. Uh, yeah, custom one's not so great either, but I just don't like this little. It looks like little pieces of confetti in here. At least this one, you know, looks like it was made a couple hundred years ago. A thousand years ago, whatever. You know? So, gold leaf. Uh, strips in there that was plated with that. So, but that's my custom. And then there's the Disney one. Like I said, it, this one looks is more true to this shape and size, but... Yeah, it is what it is, guys. Buy at your own risk. If you're a huge fan like me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, so like I said, I had to have it. 
Um, I'm still happy that Disney's putting stuff out for Indiana Jones, though. You know, it's been a long time since they've really put anything out. So I'm hoping for more to come out here soon. So we'll see what happens. I know that, like I said, the Staff of Raw and the Voodoo Doll from Temple of Doom is coming out. We'll be grabbing those as well. And I'm going to be doing another video here on the Crystal Skull prop that just came out that I just got in the mail as well. I'm very excited about that one. I think that is the best prop that they've put out um, out of all the recent ones they put out. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and uh, comment what you think. Uh, tell me your thoughts and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll respond to some of them. Thanks for watching again, guys. Have a good night.